everybody back again and if you saw yesterday's video you would have seen us make this huge kukri out of a big old farrier's rasp so if you haven't checked that out yet go ahead and hop back to yesterday's video so you can see how we made this blade today we're going to be putting a handle on it finishing it up as well as doing some chopping testing with it so should be a pretty fun day pretty cool video uh, we've got some special wood picked out and everything so let's get to it so what we have for our handle here is some blue oak. This is a beautiful, beautiful little piece. It has a lot of white in it and a lot of the blue that blue oak is known for. Um, this is a chunk that I got out of a hobby section in a local store. So I'm gonna be taking the handle and cutting it out of that. As you can see, I already have it marked out for the shape of the, the handle for where it's gonna need a fit. So we're gonna cut those out and then drill some holes and glue them up. And then we're actually going to seal the entire thing with epoxy on the outside as well, just to give it a sleeker, cleaner looking surface once it's all finished. So now we have our ridiculously oversized slabs that I need to bring down to size. So I'm going to get back to you guys on these once I'm done doing some sanding. I'll be back in a bit. Um, as you can see, I've got some layout lines here for where I need to remove material. And what I've done is put a dot of glue here and a dot of glue here, just wood glue. Uh, so that way I can pry them apart and it shouldn't damage them after I'm done sanding but I've just got it in the vise right now so that glue can set real quick before I start to sand down the overall shape we're gonna be going for on this. the rough shape of our scales sanded in. Now I'm just going to glue it all together and grind the rest all as one piece until it's a nice, comfortable, well-shaped handle. Um, doesn't look so hilariously oversized anymore, but it still is quite large. But there's our sneak preview of where we're at. So now that everything's epoxied together, I actually went ahead and just finished shaping the handle. So this is the shape it's going to have on there. Uh, now I need to sand it up and clean it up some more, get it up to a higher polished state and cleaner. I'm also going to have the spine be all shiny just to give it a little reflection on the back to match that edge reflection. So 
let's get that sanded and then I will show you guys the next step. So I have thrown some linseed oil on here as well as right now I'm not gonna touch it because it has epoxy coating it at the moment and that epoxy needs to harden. Once that epoxy is hardened, we'll have a waterproof wood handle at least for quite a long time because that epoxy is gonna seal everything up tight and keep the oil inside of that wood as well so that way it doesn't fade over time. You can also see I kind of shined up the uh, the edge on the blade a little bit more, but we'll get more to that later. I'll see you guys in a second once this is done hardening. So we have our handle finished. The wood is absolutely gorgeous on this handle. I absolutely love the coloration this thing has. But yeah, we're going to go cut some stuff with it and see how it does in testing. So now we have four lined up. I don't expect to cut through all four of these at once, but we'll see what happens. So it looks like two and a half. We cut through two and a half. Made it halfway through this one. There we go. That was a clean cut. Now onto a bigger jug. So let's just for a frame of reference. That's the jug next to the knife. <laughs> well, that worked pretty good. So Pepsi bottles are made of a thicker plastic, so it's a lot harder to cut through these. Let's see how it does. Wow. Okay. I stand corrected. That is all but cut through right to here. So it pretty much cut it in half. Let's see if we can actually cut one of these big boys in half, shall we? So my camera got splashed like crazy when I cut this one, but this was that last Pepsi bottle. It did manage to cut straight through it like butter. With all the resulting carnage from the cutting with that kukri. This thing is wildly powerful. I don't have to put much pressure behind it to get it to chop straight through pretty much whatever's in its way. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time and you've seen this before, you know what I'm about to do to this knife. So if it's going to break, we're about to find out. Well, it didn't break, and you can see just how far it's biting into that stump. And just to show you guys, it didn't take any edge damage. We just got a little bit of dirty on there, which I'm going to clean off here in just two seconds. But it didn't damage it at all, and that is still wicked sharp. So let's do a little more testing.
So our Kukri knife did amazing during testing. Uh, I was actually blown away by how sharp and effective this tool was. If you guys want to purchase this, it will be up for sale soon on my Etsy store at etsy.com slash shop slash hookers blades. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified for when new videos drop on new blades I'm making or announcements about sales on the store. God bless. Love you guys.